Okay, what you're about to see is January 6th footage. The reason I'm putting it on my channel is because I think some people may never see this because they are watching information sources that don't want you to see this. But just imagine standing outside uh, the House of Representatives trying to get into the House floor and listen to what you're hearing. And we're making it known that we're sick of it. Okay. Would you? Huh? And I've never had people like What you're looking at. That is behind there. That was then Congressman Broken Arrow Native, Oklahoma, Mark Wayne Mullen back there. Anyway, that was our congressman back there standing there watching. That's it's incredible that Texas congressman were not killed, killed by Capitol shocking. Police. It is shocking. We're sick of this. And we're making it known that we're sick of it. Okay? Would you? Huh? And I've never had people like this. I've been in the law enforcement in Texas for 30 years. Talk a little louder. That's because you've never seen corruption like we have seen this last month. I'm a shame. Of my Congress people, they don't even stand up for it. They're giving away, I'm not giving away my grandchildren and your grandchildren's freedom. Freedom is at hand. Go find another door, everybody. Do you understand we're fighting for you? You ought to put the guns down. You're not going to do anything. You know? That's dumb. You gotta bring oh, You guys away. could get the same listen, paycheck when listen. the government gets replaced with real governors. Yeah. With a good real governor. Real. I mean, it goes on. There's more. Do we have the longer version even? Like All right. Well, the guy says, better put the guns down. You're not going to do anything. And then there's another guy that says, he's like, hey, we came all this way. We've been waiting three hours to get in here. If you could please just step aside and let us get done what we need to get done here. They thought some of the people did think it was like a little tourist thing, I guess. <laughs> like they were like the Capitol Police were inconveniencing them by not allowing them to storm the fucking House floor and kill congressmen and look for the Vice President of the United States to hang him. <laughs> anyway, my old friend Wendell that I went to part of kindergarten with and first grade and all through school with, um, one of the last conversations I had with him first was about cryptocurrency after cryptocurrency had been totally proven to be stuff. And he was still talking about all the, the things that the blockchain is going to do, whatever. Okay. That's a business thing. Wrong. You're wrong. But, um, then we got into January 6th and I realized that we were on in two different realities. Uh, he had not seen any, of course, this footage that you just saw wasn't available then. But he hadn't seen any of the violent footage. He thought it really was just a bunch of people just walking through the Capitol and it was much ado about nothing. Amazing. Anyway, you see the, the Capitol Police there were pointing their guns at the rioters, at the insurrectionists standing at the doors, the broken windows there. Um, and... Someone says, oh, I'll put those guns down. You're not going to do anything. And then a U.S. veteran, a woman, did jump over that line and got killed. Uh, she really thought they weren't going to shoot her? Was there anything about how those, was there anything about how those police are standing there that looks like they're not going to shoot you? I mean, come on. That dude is going to shoot you. Okay. <laughs> He doesn't want to, but he's going to shoot you. I mean, I can't believe that people actually did this and thought this was a good idea. Man. Do you understand we're fighting for you? I ought to put the guns down. See, that's Mark Wayne there. Standing there. That's dumb. The Constitution God, I hope we don't find anything out about him being involved in this. Mark Wayne? Surely not. Surely not, Mark Wayne. Tell me it's not so. Except for get rid of you socialist pigs. Yeah, there's also other There's clips. a wide range of people. Yeah, here. Oh, this is the other one. Here we go.
you can hear them and some of the conspiracy theories you might have become familiar with um, that the right espouses and these kinds of folks were. And, and ostensibly they're doing this because of the corruption that has taken place over the prior month. Now, look, I mean, listen, uh, I accept the possibility that a lot of these people are simply deranged and uh, there's a whole class of them. But what what is quite evident is that um, these people were uh, manipulated on some level to do this as part of a much bigger scheme. We know, and I don't know why we didn't hear more about it, frankly. I mean, it was reported, but you don't hear much about it. When the application was put in for the rally that Donald Trump uh, spoke at, they were explicit about not having plans to march on the Capitol. Multiple times they were asked by the... um, Uh, of of ideas as to what they're doing there. Language warning on this one too. That man is going to shoot you. I can't believe he's going to shoot you. We're not going to lose a paycheck no if we come in the building, man. Yeah, no, we, oh, you guys are not going to lose a paycheck if we come in the building, man. And nobody's going to get hurt. I just want to say, like, the, the, within, like, 20 seconds, like, we're not going to hurt you, and then you hear someone screaming, you effing pedophiles. And they like, say, you can only kill so many of us, which kind of flies in the face of the narrative that trickled out from some Republicans, like, a month later, that this was just a tour of the Capitol. Uh, you know what's also interesting about the tour? They seem to have broken the glass into the, no, let's keep playing it. They seem to have broken the glass uh, into... <laughs> It's a tour that they broke the glass. That's one of the features of the tour. If this was not an insurrection attempt and they were just going to die there because they were dying to see the Capitol Rotunda, I mean, give me a break. Come on, man. Listen, these are good people, but they're trying to do their job. I don't don't want to get shot, man, really. Please, please. We want want our grievances redressed like the Constitution says. That's all. that uh you know uh i mean they find out that mike Fen- that mike pence is a traitor i mean they find out because donald trump says that <laughs> i mean what do you do when so many people look up to someone who's so dishonest and they can't see it or don't want to see it i mean i, I don't blame you know, people for, I guess, reacting if they really believe that their country's being taken away. And then they really thought that marching somehow, marching into the Capitol building and kicking out those windows that you could get your hold on Mike Pence and that was going to stop the President of the United States from being <laughs> sworn in on January 20th? 
No, no. I mean, you have to just disassemble everything. I guess that's what they were going to do. See ya.